All right, you guys, so um, here we go. I'm going to try and do this hyper efficiently uh, to keep the video size small. And just because there's about 75 images per class, or there would be if everyone had turned this stuff in. So I want to keep it pretty quick. Uh, Kristen, the main thing that I see you struggling with with these three images is um, you're having some trouble where you're working tonally, which is good, but now your drawing skills are you're having a hard time concentrating on the drawing at the same the actual drawing of the shapes at the same time as the as you're dealing with the technical stuff. So the accuracy and the proportions and the perspective and all that kind of stuff are kind of going out the window as you concentrate on the tones. You know, as an example, if you look at these ellipses and the fact that they're so similar, things like that, um, you know, these are perspective things that I still want you guys to hang on to. And again, I know it's it's difficult to do, but that would be the main thing I'd say you're struggling with is as you concentrate on the tone you're not concentrating as so much on the accuracy of the shape so that in areas like this you're doing them very quickly without really stopping to pay close attention to them. Now there are some other ones coming up here that I'm going to point out as good examples so pay attention for those. Um, okay Patrick, the, the thing on yours I would say is like on some of these because you're working indoors I really doubt whether you are getting great shadow shapes and that makes your life so much harder so I really can't emphasize enough to you guys you know when I say on location I want you guys to go outside and and try some more ambitious things um, ambitious meaning more complicated um, less convenient if you will uh, you know, and on things like this, you guys be very careful of these isolated sketches. They don't really tell us a whole lot from a perspective point of view. Yeah, it can be a nice sketch tonally, but it's not showing how it relates to anything in an, in an environment. And that's something we really care about. Um, also, not sure why these aren't not the right size, but or that one isn't, but um, look into that, Patrick. So... You know, and on some of these, you guys have to be very careful of kind of arbitrary shapes like these things in here. Um, you have to stare at it until you know what shape you're trying to make, because those shapes need to be a lot more specific. Again, I'll show you some other examples later on where I think people did a good job of this. You know, things like this, watch your perspective. Stuff, lines like this and lines like this with what you guys know about perspective should not be happening at this point. Even if that was an open door, that's not the way it would behave. You wouldn't have a vertical line like this. So you guys need to be more careful about that kind of thing. Okay, uh, Fernando, I actually think uh, you're doing pretty darn well as far as where you guys are at in the semester, where I want you to be and everything. Um, I would have you guys notice with Fernando's that it's tonal, but it's also sketchy and pretty darn quick. Um, if there's one thing that I would say to you, Fernando, is keep trying to squint. You're still trying to see a little bit too much, and by that what I mean is in this area, uh, it looks like this is cactus or something. Even with something like that, probably this would simplify more. Especially if this side of the house is in shadow, you could simplify that as well. Uh, same thing with this tree over here. Try to see some of the simpler shapes. Again, without losing the accuracy. You don't want to lose the accuracy, but the accuracy actually is in the bigger, simpler shapes. Um, this one is a bit electric, <laughs> for my taste, um, but it, but tonally it's working pretty well. You know, again, be careful of some of these areas in here where you started getting really complicated. Um, things like this are probably a little bit over complicated. Things like this back here could probably be simplified, but but overall, not too damn bad. Um, also, watch little things like this. You know, where it starts getting a little bit symbolic. You need to be careful about that. Um, Another, another. this is kind of a dumb thing, but if you're getting these kinds of shadows how on this building, how come I'm not getting these kinds of shadows on the fence? So be a little cautious about that kind of thing. Um, okay, Alice, the, the, this is getting a little bit out of control here. Um, in terms of this, again, try to simplify these things down. Uh, I, would, I would say that's really too much complexity for what you're dealing with. And again, if you're getting these kinds of shadows in one place, why aren't you getting them somewhere else? So, you know, these darks up here 
were probably just as dark as that. Now, you might be playing with it a little bit to create a focal point, but um, the sketch doesn't really read that what read in that way. And and also, you want to try and finish these things as you go, so that um, well, wait, let me back off of that. That's not quite what I mean. Um, let me see if I can, can keep explaining on some of the other ones. Uh, so on this one, actually, this one I think you're doing better, and I think you're doing better because you've got more control over the pen. Um, again, I'd like to see a little bit more. I'd like to see it a little further along, um, but you know, I think you're you're in better control than on the last one. And actually, kind of what's going on from here to here is sort of what I think is going on with with yours, Kristen, where you're trying to get into the paint. Uh, this one's this one's better, but again, it needs to be simplified. I'm still kind of reading this, and th this shadow on the tree and this shadow is two different things. I shouldn't be reading it that way. And I'm seeing quite a bit of surface variation where it's hard for me to tell the values of the shadows relative to the values on the wall. Okay, Dan, the main thing you're struggling with here is just some symbolic stuff, some kind of basic uh, what I would call blind drawing and semi-blind drawing issues. And we can talk about this when I come back as well. There are some things that I could... Oh, sorry guys. Uh, there's some things that I could do or tell you that I think might help. But the main thing that I would point out is, you know, watch areas like this where you're kind of giving us these cartoon trees. Uh, I understand you're trying to draw them fast, but you're drawing them symbolically, and that's the thing that's that's killing them. Um, also be a little careful of kind of just these almost casual or not casual but almost careless um, tonal marks you you really have to stay engaged the entire time and, and in your case because you're still learning some of the drawing stuff I actually would advise you to slow down a little bit we can talk when I come back in uh, again like I was saying on some of the other ones the main concern I have here is actually the perspective stuff things like the bottom of these things being flat, the tops of them being round. Um, you know, if this and this are both part of the same cylinder, they're not following any real cylindrical logic. It's the same thing with this one being flatter than this one. Um, these lines going to different vanishing points. So those are things that are really a concern for me because they really bring down the quality of the sketch. And that's that's even you've got to get that stuff before the before you get the tonal stuff. Also, just as a little side note for the rest of you guys as well, if you look at what's creating this tonal, it looks like a reflection in the glass table here. If you're getting this value here, you're going to get a similar value up here. So I want you guys to start thinking of those things as one shape. That's that's kind of a that's actually one of the better things about this entire crit so far is you know pay attention to things like that. Also, if you're getting a reflection here. Why aren't we getting a reflection off this object? Same kind of thing. Um, this one, really, the same kinds of problems as with the other ones. Um, you know, watch these things like these lines not really making sense in terms of vanishing points or, or eye levels. Okay, um, Fiona, this one's good, but I actually, I think your other ones are even better. Um, Kristen, one of the things I'd have you pay attention to is is what Fiona's doing in areas like this where she's working tonally but she's still really drawing those shapes. That's pretty nice, Fiona. That's that's kind of right along the lines of what I'm talking about. And and I'd have all of you guys pay attention to this in this area like here. Now up here I still think you're trying to draw a little bit too much. Uh, we can talk about that in on some other ones here. This one not bad. Um, you know not the best lighting which I think is making the sketch difficult, but you've got the idea. I actually kind of like how you're handling this area over here where you're you're representing edges to totally. But I gotta say, this one's my favorite one. Um, you guys, I'd have you pay attention to this one because it has a lot of nice things going for it. In particular, what I like is, Fiona, you're still drawing with the paint. So that's really, really cool. Um, I don't really care how you went about doing it. It looks like you did kind of like a charcoal or like a pencil drawing and then then put in some darks and then put in some highlights. Um, really quite well done and, and it holds up pretty well. You guys, so this one's one of the stronger examples I saw yet. 
Um, Melanie, what I like about your three sketches, and I'm going to flip through all three of them here because I want people to see this. You guys, what I like about Melanie's sketches is she's kind of approaching it fairly organically. Now, I think the first one is better than these other two, which I would attribute to your comfort level with the drawing tool as opposed to the painting tools. But what I really like about these is they feel like they just sort of came into being. They don't feel like you're getting too conscious about technique or about other um, kind of distracting things. No. Oh, excuse me. Um, the thing you need to watch out for, Melanie, is you need to watch out for areas like this where the detail becomes so overwhelming that you sort of lose track of it. And also in here, it looks like you sped through the trees just a little bit. Like if you look at this tree here, and I can see how you're starting them, that's a good way to start them. But then here, the tree looks kind of labored and and um, and isn't drawn as well. You know, and, and this is really the toughest thing about paint is in painting, you're doing all the things you did in drawing, but you're doing it with a medium that it's, it's kind of like going from a car that can go 20 miles an hour to going to a car that can go 200 miles an hour. You need to be a lot more careful about the moves you make. <laughs> um, it can, it can, you can go out of control pretty quickly. Um, and I think that's something that most of you guys are struggling with. Okay, Holly, on your three, I'm going to flip through these three as well. If you look at these, these first two, I think you're struggling a little bit. And um, I think you're approaching it the right way. I think you're just still trying to get a handle on it. However, on this one, I think because you had better lighting and you had some distance and you, you weren't so wrapped up in, into these big shapes. Um, by big shapes, I mean like these big forms that were looming over you and stuff. By getting a little distance here... Um, you're able to see it a little better and I think this is actually quite a nice sketch so uh, I would say this is your best one I would say try and emulate this kind of thing be a little careful though um, again with you know how much information you're putting into shadow sides but but not bad at all um, okay Rev I think the big thing you're struggling with is kind of like I was talking with some of the people earlier like Kristen's and things like that is you're kind of struggling with how to deal with paint at the same time you're dealing with drawing. Um, I would actually maybe encourage you to go back to drawing until you get a handle. Well, no, I can't say that. Let's strike that. Um, I think drawing you would be more successful, but I, you know, this really isn't about success, so don't worry about that. I, I think the the thing I would work on though is in these areas, these trees are getting kind of symbolic, and it's not really. Uh, they're not really drawn that well, meaning the shapes are not that correct. And the shapes need to be more correct when you're painting, not um, you have no leeway. Now on things like this, this is kind of like some of the other ones I was mentioning with Dan's. Um, the main problem with this is that the perspective is getting out of hand, and the perspective is getting out of hand, again, because of the drawing issues. So be careful with that kind of stuff, you guys. Uh, Jeff, I think you're doing all right on this one. Um, and let's see yeah that i mean I, I like kind of how you're combining the perspective and the tone not bad at all um you're even thinking about things like the elliptical plane so pretty good stuff uh this one too it's a little bit on the simple side but it's it's not bad not bad at all um i don't have that much more to say but i mean actually if you keep drawing like this i think you're going about it the right way you'll get better at them too as you go on but this is a real good start um, this one here, this one it feels like you got just a, the tonal markers and stuff got a little bit out of control, but not bad, you know, and again, you're going to learn about this as you go. You guys, I do really want to emphasize, though, these indoor sketches are going to cause you problems. Sketch outdoors, uh, if at all possible. No one has a weather excuse this weekend because it was absolutely beautiful. So that's a time management thing. Go sketch outdoors. All right. You guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this into a two-part video, so I'm gonna stop at this point so the download isn't too bad. Um, so I'll be uploading a second one starting with Jeff here, and uh, in the meantime, um, hope you guys are all in class right now, and I'll talk to you in a couple minutes here.